while the paint, I mean, the, the primer is drying and curing for our second coat, I'm just going to go through my bin of everything that, <clears throat> all the hardware that I took off in the beginning. So I know I'm changing the hardware. I'm going to store these away. Um, I always save all my old hardware because you just never know when you need them again. Here are the hinges with them labeled like left top. Um, this one is right bottom. So I am going to take these hinges. I'm going to put them in order and then I'm going to separate them in lacquer thinner. I want to take all the old varnish that's on them. Um, there's some nasty crud and everything and I always soak them in lacquer thinner it really helps break up all that stuff um, and here are the casters so normally I will replace the casters because um, they're like usually wood on the inside and they're always usually would be like um, really warped or run down or like uh, flattened and it would not give a nice roll if you had to uh, move the buffet around. But these are steel, steel casters, they're all metal. So I think I'm gonna soak them again in um, lacquer thinner like my hinges. I'm gonna soak them all and see what I can get off of here and make them look nice and shiny again. So that's what I hope to work on. Um, because these, it's kind of hard to find all like the steel and the metal casters. Usually they're wooden. Here are my bins of all my old hardware. I organize them really nice. So when I have to go and look for hardware that I want to replace or if I'm missing one, sometimes it happens that you tend to have one that matches. So I'm just going to look at my old hardware that I'm getting rid of from the buffet. So I'm going to add new hardware. They look like this. So I think I have something that's similar to it. Oh yeah, here they are, right over here. A little similar. So I might put them all in here. Oh, but let me show you the wheels that I'm talking about, the casters. Let me move this, this is my caster bin. Let me open it up. And here they all are, all different sizes, diameter sizes of the um, insert here. So many casters I have over the years. I always buy them extra, and so I have them on hand. Um, so let me see. Show, oh, let me show you the difference. So here is the wooden casters. See how it's wood, and they tend to get nasty over the years. Let me see if I have one that's. Uh, pretty worn down. Usually I kind of throw them out. But maybe, um, I thought I had one that was, no, I kept all pretty decent ones. But <clears throat> usually the casters, they will get worn down. Okay, this one's a little not perfect. See how it's all worn out? over here on this side. It's not a perfect circle. It's a little oval-like. So when you're gonna roll it, the buffet, it'll boom, 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 you know, kinda. It wouldn't have a nice smooth roll. So that's what happens with uh, wooden casters. Could be from humidity over the years too, and all the weight not being moved, it gets, just gets flattened out. So that's why I love these metal ones. So I'm going to try and clean them up as much as I can. And plus it'll stay, with the authenticity of the buffet as well, like to kind of keep it, the integrity all there. So that'll be really nice if I can get these looking pretty decent. I'm gonna add some lacquer thinner to my hinges. Um, I labeled my hinges, but the lacquer thinner will take them off. So what I just do is I just label it down here. So I know obviously at the bright bottom, this is the right top. So that's kind of how I organize that. And then, I put all the casters in a glass jar and I'm going to let this sit for a while. And hopefully a lot of the yucky stuff will come off so I can scrub it off. This has only been sitting maybe 30 seconds and you can see a lot of the stuff is already starting to come off. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna let that soak. You can see how dirty it already, the lacquer thinner is in there. All right, so I am gonna take out one of the casters that's been soaking in the lacquer thinner. And let's see, yeah, you can see a lot of it's coming off. It's nasty, the water, look how dirty, very dirty. Okay, so I'm gonna scrub away and then I'm gonna try some Brasso on it to um, clean it a little better. For day eight, I am working on um, the casters that I cleaned. One of them cleaned up really well, and then the other one's kind of like the finish came off a little bit. So I just wanna bring them back, like spruce them up a little bit. I'm gonna just use a rub and buff um, in the European gold, and let's, I wanna see how it looks on the caster. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of it on a piece of cardboard here. I have a paintbrush and I'm going to apply it. So let's see how it looks. Bring back some of that gold. Look how pretty. It's coming out really nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna put any of it on the actual like part of the wheel here only because this is what's gonna be touching the floor, but I will put it on the outside so the, the wheels look nice and shiny and on the interior of the wheel as well. And I'm just going to touch up the hinges. So since the rub and buff, it just feels like a liquid Sharpie. It smells kind of like it. Um, so I'm just going to see if acetone will take it off because I know acetone works really well with Sharpie. So we'll see. Let's see if it comes right off. Oh yeah, it's coming right off. Yep, did a good job getting it off. I'm just gonna keep working at it. Maybe let it soak a little bit too. 